Do you want to study in Canada and tuition fee is a worry for you? Well, I've got great news for you. This video is all about, about cheapest colleges in Canada that you can apply to and offset your tuition fee without any hassle. These carefully selected colleges that I have on my list are DLI, which means that they are designated learning institution that would allow you to apply for PGWP, which is postgraduate work permit, which will eventually allow you to have your permanent residence in Canada. Well, I have a video where I actually explain how to apply for PGWP and apply for PR on my channel. You might want to consider to watch that after this video. Now, without wasting much of our time, let's go. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora Gillo. I live in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. Now, on this channel, I post videos based on my lifestyle and experience, and most especially um, how to immigrate to Canada via work visa and student visa. Now, if you're new on my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. It means a lot to me. And if you're my oldest, thank you so much for always coming back. It means a lot to me. If you're new, please consider subscribing to my channel at the end of this video. It means a lot to this community it's helped this community to grow now this video is about cheapest colleges in canada and i have criteria on how i'm going to talk about that the carefully selected colleges that i have on my list is going to be analyzed based on their location the tuition fee the programs that they offer and then the cost of living in that province in which these colleges are located and lastly it's going to also be analyzed based on scholarships and awards that this college gives international students Kindly note that not all programs that these colleges offer can give you PGWP at the end of study. And also, tuition fee depends on the kind of programs that you choose. So you want to do a thorough research before applying to that course. Before we move on, I would like to put a disclaimer out there that this video is based on the research that I carry out on this college's website. And I'm not an immigration lawyer or neither am I a consultant. So please, you should try to do your own research before you apply to that particular course you choose. And the first on my list is Nova Scotia Community College, NSCC for short. Now, NSCC is a public community college and is located in Halifax, Nova Scotia. It is established in 1996 and it has 14 campuses throughout the province. And including an online e-campus. NSCC offers about 140 career-oriented degree programs to both the undergraduate and postgraduate students, and this includes their locals and international students. The program it offers are both in full-time and part-time programs, and these are in areas such as computer science, healthcare, um, human services, technologies, as well as art and science. Next is tuition. To apply to come to Nova Scotia Community College, Prospective students will need to pay a non-refundable application fee of 75 Canadian dollars. Aside that, if you're given admission, you also need to pay 1,000 Canadian dollars as a deposit um, tuition fee. And this is used to confirm your seat at the, at the college. You need to take note that if your study permit is denied by the IRCC or you choose not to come to this school again, the 1,000 deposit fee would not be refunded to you. Now, the average tuition fee for international students to come to NSCC is between ten thousand seven hundred and ninety-one Canadian dollars to thirty thousand nine hundred and eighty-eight Canadian dollars per year, and this is depending on your cost of study. The next is the cost of living. Now, Nova Scotia is a much more cheaper province compared to other provinces like Ontario. Now, it has been analyzed that um, international students can spend around five hundred to seven fifty Canadian dollars per month. But aside that, cost of living actually depends on student lifestyle. You know, some students love to buy something that is of high quality, while some just want to buy things that will make them comfortable. So this depends on the student pocket. Aside that, you, might, you will also need to pay for some fees such as student union fee, health insurance and all. And this is not inclusive in your uh, cost of living. So you want to make sure you do a thorough research before you apply to come to Nova Scotia Community College study. Moving on to scholarships and awards. Nova Scotia Community College is known to give awards and scholarships to, to their students, and this including the, uh, the locals and international students. Scholarships and awards are based on some criteria such as financial needs, um, career interest, and also um, academic standards. Next on my list is New Brunswick Community College. Now, for short, I'll be saying NBCC. Now, this is also a public community college that is located in Fredericton in the province of New Brunswick. NBCC is established in 1974 and prospective students can choose from over 90 different programs that it offers. Also, it has six distinct 
campuses that is scattered all through New Brunswick. It offers both full-time and part-time programs, and this is assessed through an in-person classes or online classes. Also note that not all programs are available for international students. So you, have, you really have to do your research to ensure that the program you're choosing is for you. According to a latest report, MBCC is known to enroll about 12,460 students in an academic year. And this includes both the locals and the international students. To apply to come to MBCC, prospective international student needs to um, have degree, diploma, or uh, high school certificates. And aside that, you also need to have other criteria such as um, language proficiency tests, which could be IELTS, TOEFL, or Duolingo. MBCC offers certificate programs, diploma programs, advanced diploma programs, and as well as master's degree programs. They also offer some professional developmental programs as well as continuing education programs. So you have to visit their website to ensure that they have the programs that you want to study. And as I said, I'll be leaving um, a link in the description box where you can read thoroughly and understand everything that is colleges have to offer. Moving on to tuition. Now to apply to come to um, MBCC, you need to pay a sum of 100 Canadian dollars as application fee, and this is not refundable. And also you need to pay a confirmation deposit, deposit fee when you're given admission, and this is 500 Canadian dollars. Also not refundable. This money is used to keep a seat for you at the college, and it also counts towards your um, tuition fee. Your first semester tuition fee, actually. The average tuition fee for international student is between 6,961 Canadian dollars to 9,464 Canadian dollars per year. And this is liable to change as the year proceeds. Now, moving on to cost of living in New Brunswick. As an international student, it has been estimated that um, student gets to spend around 2,000 Canadian dollars to 4,000 Canadian dollars per month. And this is inclusive of the rental payment which is the house you believe in, and also your meal preparation, groceries, transportation, fare, and all. And we should all know that all of this is actually depending on the student's lifestyle. Some students prefer to buy something really expensive, some prefer to stay in two beds, while some just want to be comfortable whatever space they find themselves. So all of this is depending on your lifestyle. One interesting thing about New Brunswick Community College is that about 90% of their graduates are employed within within one year of their graduation. This is a very good number, guys. You really need to check into this. And this simply means that their reputation precedes them. Employers from around the province believe that the graduates from New Brunswick are able to deliver whatever tax they are given. So they are given high priority when it comes to coming for interview for whatever job they are going for. So this is an advantage of studying in New Brunswick Community College because their reputation precedes them. Moving on to scholarships and awards. Um, MBCC gives scholarships and awards to their students based on their financial needs and um, um, merit, that is their academic standing. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description box where you read more about the um, scholarships that they get to offer and you can take advantage of. Moving on to the next college on my list, which is Selkirk College. This is located in Kasugar in the province of British Columbia and it's established in 1966. This college offers post-secondary certificates, diploma and associate degrees in various programs for international students, both in full-time and part-time. Siaki College has six different campuses across the province. Now, I forgot to mention that MBCC and NSCC do not provide accommodation for their students. Student fence for accommodation for themselves, and this is done off campus. Now, for Selkirk College, it provides accommodation for international students and the locals, and this is about five minutes walk from the school or library. This way, you will not have to bother about transportation fee from school to home, so that is going to put extra cash in your pockets. Selkirk College offers programs in areas such as business, environment and geometrics in health and science, hospitality and tourism, industry and trade studies, and many more. Moving on to tuition, international students have to pay 100 Canadian dollars as an application fee, and this is of course not refundable. <laughs> now for deposits, Selkirk College does not require a student to pay for deposits, as your deposit is actually counted towards your first semester tuition fee. The average tuition fee for international students is between 6,510 Canadian dollars 
to 18,720 Canadian dollars per year. And of course, this is depending on your cost of choice. Now, moving on to health insurance, it has been estimated that international students get to spend around 2,500 um, Canadian dollars in British Columbia. And this is inclusive of their house rent, their milk and groceries, shopping, as well as their phone bills and transportation and many more. And we all know that these uh, cost of living is actually depending on the needs and want of a student. So depending on your pocket, you can afford whatever it is you want. And the next on my list is Seneca College. Seneca College operates as Seneca Polytechnics and it is located in the Greater Toronto area in the province of Ontario, Canada. Seneca College offers programs in full-time and part-time at the baccalaureate, diploma, degree, and graduate level. As an acceptance rate of about 85%, and this means that they actually accept students from around the world. Um, it's also a home for about 30,000 30, students studying full-time programs and 7,000 international students from different countries. Seneca College assists international students in many ways, and this includes picking up from airport, accommodation assistance, um, academic counseling, as well as free English tutoring. Next is tuition and fee. International students pay a fee of $90 as an application fee, and this is not refundable. Average tuition fee for international students is between $6,930 Canadian dollars to $15,135. Canadian dollars per year. There are other courses that are way higher than this. Now you really want to do your research by going to their website to ensure that the cost of your choice is within your budget. Once given admission at Seneca College, you're required to pay your first semester tuition fee in order to keep your admission at Seneca College. Next is cost of living. Guys, this is Ontario and things are very expensive here. I've not been there, but it's one of the developed um, province in Canada and you should expect that you get to see things that are extremely expensive um, comparing to other provinces. For accommodation in the province of Ontario, Toronto, you'll be looking about to rent an apartment for 8400 to 12000 Canadian dollars per year. And this you might have to share with other students. <laughs> the average cost of groceries is around 6000 to 10000 Canadian dollars per year. You also need to get books and supplies during the course of your study while on campus. And this is depending on the nature of your course and um, the, the, the practical aspects and all. Aside that, you also need to pay for <coughs> um, health insurance. And this is around seven to five Canadian dollars per year. Now the next is scholarships and awards. Seneca College is known to give scholarships and awards to international students and the local students. And these are depending on some criteria such as financial needs and also academic excellence. There are other criteria that students have to meet before, before they can qualify for a scholarships or award. Be sure to check out the link in the description box to learn more. This brings us to the end of this video today. Thank you so much for watching up to this time. And please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a, uh, a likes, um, give it a thumbs up, and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And be sure to click on the notification bell so you can be the first to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>